Dana White beat the streets 2014 here in Times Square. Dana, first off, you almost got a, got to wear a couple wrestlers home. Oh, yeah, yeah, like? yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, I was just telling these guys, it's like being at a baseball game. You got to keep your eyes open. Instead of getting hit with a line drive, you're going to get a 240-pound a guy landing on top of you. So do you and uh, Joey watching the amateur wrestling? I, I know we've seen you at other events before. Why New York and why beat the streets? I do. I actually came in for this event. Um, you know, wrestling is a very important part of the uh, UFC and mixed martial arts. Uh, so I'm very involved in not only preserving the sport of wrestling and making sure it continues to remain a Olympic sport, but trying to keep alive high school uh, and college uh, you know, wrestling teams. You know, a lot of people still don't talk about the financial trouble that this country is in. We're still in a huge, uh, you know, uh, economic crisis in this country. And the first thing that they try to eliminate in high school and college is sports. And obviously the first thing, the football team isn't going to go. They're not going to get rid of the baseball team. The first thing they usually eliminate is, is, is wrestling. So we at the UFC do the best we can at preserving some of these teams and, and keeping wrestling alive from a college, uh, you know, level all the way up to the Olympics. A lot of Olympic wrestlers are becoming very prominent in UFC. Uh, you had two Olympic athletes compete recently for the title, judo and a wrestler. Talk about the, the Olympic athletes that are part of your organization and how much they bring to the sport. Well, wrestling, you know, uh, is a huge base in mixed martial arts. You can't, you can't, you can't perform in, in, in mixed martial arts without having wrestling. You have to have it. And that's why a lot of, you know, if you look at from the very first UFC all the way till today, wrestlers, very good wrestlers have been very dominant in the sport. Um, it, it, you know, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a staple in, in, in mixed martial arts. Looking at the, you know, like if you're talking about the staple of it and the origination, the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, Dan the Beast Severed, the earlier guys, Kevin Jackson fought in the UFC. Looking at what those guys have done for the culture as far as, and you got five guys I think right now with some type of wrestling background who are your UFC champions. Absolutely. And you know, looking at John Jones. Yep. Johnny at, Hendricks. Um, the, the list goes on and on. Matt Hughes was a longtime dominant champion in the UFC. If you look, like I said, if you look throughout, you know, uh, the history of the UFC, many of the champions or top 10 and best fighters in the world have come from wrestling. It's very important. Very important uh, piece of the UFC, and, and believe me, we recognize it and we've been all over it. When uh, when it looked like that Olympic wrestling was going to be threatened, we jumped right in. Hey, you've been building a relationship with USA Wrestling. Um, you see a bright future with our uh, working together to help with sports. Yeah, I think it was weird. In the beginning, USA Wrestling saw the UFC as either, uh, you know, not up the standards of, of USA Wrestling or was threatened by it. Like we would want to come in and steal some of your big stars before they complete opposite. We would love guys. We love to see guys uh, have their wrestling careers do you know accomplish all kinds of great things. And when they make the decision that they're done wrestling, they can come over and still compete, uh, you know, professionally and make a living in the UFC. Looking at guys like Jordan Burroughs. Are you looking your chops for a guy like that to come and bring his talent to the UFC? Listen, I know there's a lot of talented guys out here. Um, I want them to do whatever they're going to do in wrestling, whether it's you know continue to, to, to do Olympic runs or, or whatever it might be. And when they're ready, they'll, they'll come to the UFC. You know, I've, I'm always looking for uh, exciting guys who could possibly be uh, be big stars for me. So no matter who it is. So thanks so much for your time. Obviously, we'll continue working with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the wrestling, David. Thank you, man.